Hello Design have been in business for a very long time, one of the oldest consultancies in the UK. Um, but over the years, we've merged activities into much more engineering sort of bias. Um, but we're still industrial designers, we're still looking at things from the, the user's point of view rather than the technology point of view. So what we need are, are, are tools which help us visualise what the things will look like and help to communicate that to, to stakeholders or customers or clients. We chose SolidWorks because customers asked for it. Um, there's no point providing a, a tool if, um, if customers won't use it. So the native file format was the, was the catalyst, really. It's the fact that it's a common file format that, that has increased uh, efficiency. And it's, a, and it's an efficiency that we gain from, really, as much as the clients. They gain in terms of speed. But it was where we had inefficiencies before, using one package, then another, and having to translate and, and deal with mismatches. We don't have that problem now. We initially used um, Pro Engineer, but as SolidWorks has improved and grown in its capability, we've we started out with one license. We've now got five, and it's our predominant tool for for working in CAD. The nice thing about using SolidWorks is that that uh, so many people here can use it. We've got model maker, young guy that uh, straight out of college has model making skills, but has moved very easily into using SolidWorks for um, breaking up a model, perhaps to make it on the CNC machine. Um, and at the other end we've got Andy um, doing FEA work, kinematics, um, very detailed, uh, complex assemblies. The best thing about SolarWorks for me is it works the way I think. So I don't need to sit down and plan how I'm going to uh, make a model to fit the design. I can sit down and think about the design and create the model as I go. As, as well as SolidWorks itself, we do have the, um, the simulation side, um, as well as sustainability, um, and Composer as well. Increasingly we've started to make more parts that have plastic springs, so trying to calculate how much force and deflection you're getting can be quite tricky when you're making injection moulding where the spring is an integral part of the moulding, um, and simulation has been uh, really great for that. Um, being able to displace the model by a certain amount and then figure out what the force is to, um, to get that displacement. It's made the reverse engineering side of that uh, and optimising the parts really brilliant. Composer has been very useful for, for odd things uh, like doing pattern drawings as well as uh, instruction manuals for, for customers and for doing quick visuals. Quite a versatile little tool. Well, the GE project is a, a ship's bridge. It's made up of a, a large number of different bespoke uh, bits of furniture, but they're all fairly modular. So using SolidWorks, we were able to create uh, a range of parts from a single um, set of information and then configure them. Um, we're then able to turn those into sheet metal parts very quickly um, and turn them into prototypes. It's more versatile than anything else really. You've got tools in SolidWorks for, for complex surfacing now. Um, you've got tools like Monk Speed for, um, in the new release for um, photorealistic rendering at very high speed as well. When it can work in real time, you can start to use it as a presentation tool. SolidWorks has come on leaps and bounds. Um, so it really is a sort of Swiss army knife of, of, of CAD tools really.